Hey everyone, my name is Pritam and you are watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another tech video. Now this is the 18th video of our newly created technical series called Service Now. So in my last video, we have understood the different relationship that we have between Service Now tables and what are the what are the relationship calls and what are the different type of table we have like base table code table right custom table we also talked about and also we have seen how you can see the schema map you know it's a visual representation of tables relationship and you can understand with the help of schema map like what are the reference table for a particular table what are the what are the extended table right so all of this discussion has been done already in my last video so if you missed the video guys, don't worry, I'm going to put the link in the description and also you can find the link right now here on your screen, right? So let's see what we are going to learn in today's video. So today we will create our custom table and we will create field. So let's go into the service now. Today no theory, only practical. Okay, so let's move on to the service now. Make sure you watch the full video guys so that you can understand how I'm creating it and so can you can practice it on your own instance and that's it. All right. So right now I'm in my service now instance. So guys in three ways I can directly create a table in service now. Now, first of all, before going into that, I, I hope you remember in the last video I've discussed about the, you know, code table or the, uh, yeah, the code table, which has created by service now, like the incident table, task table, change table, user table. So these are the table you cannot delete it. Right, but you can delete custom table. So the table we are going to create right now, so we can delete that. But you cannot delete a code table which is there in the service now. Okay, so just just a idea. Now I'm going to show you how you can create a table. So first, very basic way, I am going to create a table. So let's make this thing available. So table, if I type table in the navigation, in the application navigator, and if I scroll down, you know we have a, under system definition we have a tables module. Module. If I click here, I can directly click a new button, and then I can create a new table. Also, I can go to the table and column section. So we have gone it on the last video, right? Where from here you can see different tables and their column names and column attributes. Also, you can see the schema map, right? It, also, you can see we have a button here. That's the UI action right now. We won't call it button UI action here. Again, if you have any confusion about UI action, already video uploaded in my channel, please do watch it to clear your confusion. So we already have a UI action here, create table. We can create table from here. And lastly, you can directly go to the SysDB object. I hope you remember. I have told you SysDB object is the table where all the tables are stored. So you can see all the tables you can find here. So you can create a new button. You know, there is a new button, so you can create it from here. So let me create it from here. Doesn't matter from which place you create it. Everything will be same like this. So it will appear in front of you. Let me make it minimize. Yeah. So first we will give a name. So what table we are going to create actually, what we are going to do first, let's discuss that. So very simply, I'm going to create a table on, let's see mobile issues. Okay, so first the name of the table would be mobile issues where we will get some information from the user and once the user submit the record then different team can work on it. Okay, so for the label that means the name of the table. I mean the display name of the table not the table name. Okay, I'll tell you you'll see how it's different. So I'll type mobile issues and you see automatically the name has been has been come up like you underscore mobile underscore issues. Why? Because this is the service now name. Uh, table name so if i want to use this table name in a scripting so i have to use this name this is just a display name that's why it's a label and it's the original name and you see whenever you create a custom table in service now so it will always start with u underscore right so that defines so whenever you whenever you see there is a table name u underscore that means that has been created by administrator or developer in your company also right this is same now okay now is this extending any table? So like I told you the definition of extend table. So if I extend any other table, so I can use those properties, those fields uh, in my table mobile issues. So right now I'm not going to do that. However, I'll just show you uh, with the help of extend table how it is happening. So I'll create a, another table and I'll show you while explaining to you dictionary overrides. So uh, in a few minutes. So for the time being, I'm not extending anything, create module. So I'm creating a module. Module means here it will show. That's the module. Uh, so which module I'm going to add? So we have self-service here. We have activity subscription and many module we have, right? So let's create it under self-service. You can create it on any under any module. 
so i will search for self service created it so under self service this money issues this table will appear okay fine now i do not have any column right any i do not have any field so let's create some field okay now let's first submit the table let's first create the table i'll save it here so now table is created you can see and you can see there are some fields already there now you will ask me preetam we have not created these fields so where did this come from now these are the fields that will automatically created whenever you will create a new table and these fields you know this field you cannot you don't need to update the value or you don't need to add value or something you, you can see it will show you who is creating a record whenever you will create a record a created date a sys id of the you know it's a global id unique id updates which who, who is doing the updates update by and when it is updated so these are the information will be there so we don't have any problem with that that will be always there we cannot remove also we cannot remove but uh, but it will not show in the form until unless you configured it okay so i'll try to create a new uh column so let me create on the new button i can also do it by insert a new row so let's see what first i need to know the name of the user so i will choose string type is a string type variable i need to know the name of the user so it would be enter your name okay column name would be automatically take automatically and the uh, max length would be maybe 40 and this field is uh, not mandatory and this field is of course this is a mandatory field you have to give your name so that you know people can understand who is having the issue now there is no default value i don't want anything nothing let's put it safe so one is created click on update and it will take me back to the page so now you can see i have another section called enter your name so now we have added a new field here name enter your name which is a string type okay so let me add another field now i need mobile number of them because it's a mobile issue so they have to give their mobile number so i'll choose as string however there is a mobile type you can choose but it's fine let's choose string it's not make any complicated and now i want to show you some uh, use of the choice field right so maybe uh, they need to choose um, which country they are belong right so choose your country country now this field i'm going to do as a let me search choice field yeah and i need to edit this field as well so we have mobile number enter your a name and mobile number choose your country choice field now i'll open choose your country here in the new tab so that i can edit the dictionary value choose your country name is fine it's a choice type and choice list specification drop down with so drop down with uh, not a default value drop down with none it's fine now here i need to define the choice right i have shown you also uh, creating so i can just define choice here so choose your country i will give india i'll put the value what is the value of this level that should be also india and then i'm going to put maybe uh, uk or maybe england give the value england okay and uh, let's put another australia maybe australia and let's add uh canada and I'll update it all right so i'm back with this thing so we have now choose your country user will uh, enter their name choose country mobile number and also i want their issue what is what issue they are having issue with your mobile so i can add many more fields like what is the what is your uh, maybe the device name so let's add that device name it's quite obvious uh, device name or device yeah so maybe samsung or iphone so i'll choose string again yeah so i'm done with it and let's okay let's define the string value 40 and here also 40 okay however it's a description so make it a uh, 100 all right now i will save it now we have a table created where we have few fields 
this is our table okay okay right now i'm in the home back to home again and i'll click on all and you can see under self-service we have mobile issues however you can see there is an extra s so i think that's a something service now glitch as it's a development environment but yeah our table is got created so its name is mobile issues so if i open this table and there is no record so this is a list view you are seeing right now this is a list view and there is no record so i can click on new and i can add new record you can see this is like a same like incident form it, it is showing you right so i can put you put my name so i'll put my name pritam uh, my mobile number i'll put one two three four five six seven eight nine issue with your mobile okay first choose your country so i'll choose here uh, india issue with your mobile um, uh, okay my maybe bluetooth is not working device name so i'm using a samsung phone so samsung maybe s21 right that's it i'm going to submit it so once i submit you can see there is a ticket got created right now now if you fine now let's go back to the table let me show you something else so now we know how to create a table and how you can add fields you can add different fields right now here uh, what i'm going to do is that i'm going to show you going to the control i will go and i'll show you here you know first the auto number stuff so it is i want to make it auto number so like if i go to the incident table so if i let me open it this is the incident table right so you can see there is a number section and that is a auto generated number right so if i want this on my table that i want the any if all of the issue will come with a auto generated number okay so i'm going to click on this auto number box and it will start with mob so i can configure it i can also write mob ile mobile number of digit will be eight okay now and also you can see create access controls so when you create a table however we'll discuss about roles and access control in a later video but let me just tell you like whenever you create a table also the roles got created so if user has this role only they would be able to access your table either if they do not have they won't be able to access their table they won't be able to see that table self service or mobile issues sorry under the self service if do, they do not have access so we are going to cover access users groups and sel the access control list in the upcoming section so uh, wait for that so for the time being i'll just make it save so continue it's done now so i'll just go to the mobile issues okay let's go to the uh, show form and you see okay and you see the number field is there and it is automatically showing number mobile 00000101 so maybe i need to make it short so i make it eight total this is quite big so actually let me configure that i'm an administrator right now so i need to configure that so i'll go to the table i'll go to the control here and i will choose it not eight but maybe five okay and right now i'm going to do update so in the form now you can see it's mobile 001032 so right now it is taking five only okay this is the auto number and i want also this field should not be re changeable anyone can i mean no one can change this field because this is an auto number field i want so for that what i can do i can go to the dictionary value you know that i click on it and then configure dictionary okay so whatever things we have learned already in this table section so i'm going to show you in the final demo while creating this table so right now it's a string so we want it as a read only field so we don't want it people change it or services agent change it so i'll click on update so you can see now mobile is a read only field it's not changeable okay that's what we want so let's me create another record okay and choose your country so this time i'll choose australia issue with mobile i can't uh, maybe keypad is not working device name maybe uh, iphone apple so apple iphone and i'll submit it and you see once i submit it uh, okay it has gone back to the dictionary field so let me go to the table view so this time i need the table so okay i'll back to the incident i will choose all and i'll open our mobile issues you can see we have now two records 
the mobile number is also updated however it is not showing the number you can add it so you know that how to personalize or uh, you can personalize so i'll click on this gear icon here that you have already learned in the first section of the video so i want to see number field added so i can add any of this field if i want i want to see these are the default field while we created incident it was there so i'll click on okay now you can see i can also see the number the, while creating the first record we did not have the uh, you know this number was enabled we added it later so now you can see the number also right so this is how you can quickly create a table and add field values and these are all storing in the database so you can apply filter on here you can do you know search here and you can do a lot of other things right you can also do business rules you can do data policy ui policy everything you can do right you you do with a table all right guys so this is it for today so in the next video i'll show you the dictionary overrides and extend table so that it's the, if i want to show you in this video then it the video will become much more longer so i don't want to do that so in the next video we will understand about extend table how you can create it and what is the benefit of it and also like what is dictionary overrides which is a very very important concept for your exam also right so if you find the video helpful guys hit the like button if you have any question come to the comment section and also don't forget to share with your friends and families so that it can reach out to many people thank you have a great time see you in my next video bye bye